What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mr. Raider Kid, and I'm back. Finally, gonna bring you a video. I haven't made a video for a month or so now since uh, the LA news, and uh, I want to get started now. I wanted the, the Super Bowl to die down and finish up so that um, I can get everything prepared and just let the off season officially begin. So this video here is the state of the Oakland Raiders, and I just want to talk about the season in review. Um, other things as in this year's free agent class, this year's draft, and scouting and things like that will be for other videos down the line. I know today uh, teams are starting uh, to franchise tag players if they like. And also I have some news. Well, everyone knows this already, but I'm just going to tell you my opinion on everything. The Raiders have decided to sign the one-year lease to stay at the O.Co. Coliseum with an option that they can exercise in the 2017-2018 season to either stay or leave. In this case, obviously at all points, there's still writings all over the raw of this. It's not, you don't want to pop champagnes yet uh, because this Mark Davis is what he's doing. He's waiting for San Diego to make their decision. He wants to see what Spanos is going to do if he's going to stay in San Diego or if he's going to take the LA spot. And obviously if he doesn't take the LA spot, I think Mark Davis wants to go down there. Whether you guys like it or not, honestly, it's all the right on the wall. He's going to try to get something done in Oakland, of course. Uh, but we'll see if he gets his land and money like he needs. He needs some help. So that's all for that. I know everyone's happy for that. Um, I think our home opener will be September 18th, if I'm not wrong. Uh, the A schedule has been released, and that's the only available Sunday. So September 18th will probably be our home opener. I don't think the season will start that late, so we'll probably be away our first game of the year, which didn't happen last year. And we get a Monday night game for sure. And guess what we're playing? We're playing in Mexico City. I'm so excited again for this matchup. November 21st against the Houston Texans. I'm so happy we get to play in Mexico City. Why? Because we can just prove how big our nation is. That we're not just in California. We're not just, you know, wherever people claim us to be. In Oakland, in the Bay. No, we're in LA. We're in England. We're in New York. We're in Texas. And we're going to be in Mexico City. We're going to show out in that silver and black. I can't wait for that. Right, let me get started with the state of the Oakland Raiders. I want to talk about our free agent class, how well we did. I'll give a grade on it. Our, D, our draft class, and then where we ranked, and uh, my comparisons to my predictions. So we finished seven and nine, third in the AFC West. My prediction, if you watched it, and if you remember, I predicted us to win seven or eight games. I said that that was realistic in reality with this team. I thought I saw with the draft pickups and the free agent signings that we had. Obviously, we did just that. We went 7-9. to uh, There was, of course, games that where we should have won. Uh, we lost. Uh, we lost games ourselves. We barely won games. That's a football season, though. You know, that kind of stuff happens. So, with that being said, I'm going to talk about our free agent class real quick. Actually, no. I'm going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to start where our team stats. So, offensively, we finished 24th in the league in yards, 17th in points. This is all in offense. 16th in the pass and 28th in the rushing category, our worst one out of all. Defensively, we're 22nd in yard, uh, 26th in the pass, and 13th in the rush. So you see how our rushing game on both sides of the ball was totally opposite. Um, offensively, we were terrible, and defensively, uh, we were decent. We were decent. We were in the top five for a long time in the, in the, during the season until we kind of fell off towards the end. Uh, interceptions, we had 14. Uh, mainly because of Woodson and Emerson alone. Uh, they had nine combined. And then Sacks, we had 38, uh, which was like midway through the league. We were kind of average on both. Along with offensive line, uh, their Sacks given, we gave up 33. Um, again, midway through the league, so it was kind of average. Let's talk about the free agent class and the draft class. This is the biggest... Uh, biggest thing I want to talk about, my most interesting thing. So this is who the players we signed once free agency start. We signed Malcolm Smith, Curtis Lofton, Dan Williams, Roy Hallou, Rodney Hudson, Lee Smith, Jamarcus Webb, Nate Allen, Trent Richardson, Michael Crabtree. And then in the start of the year, we signed Alden Smith, and a week later, we picked up uh, David Amerson off of waivers. So I consider this, this is our, our class of transaction, though known as free agents, during that year. Um, 
Some players played well, some players didn't play at all, almost. Uh, I thought Malcolm Smith played very well. He led the team in tackles, a total, 122 he had. Curtis Lofton, uh, people were skeptical. I thought he played well, but his pass defense wasn't great. And he did stay healthy like, uh, you know, his history promised. So that was good. That's what we needed, healthy players. Dan Williams, I thought, played well, played well enough. Uh, Roy Hallou barely played at all. Uh, Ronnie Hudson made an immediate impact on that offensive line, made it 10 times better. Through the first half of the year, we were almost flawless on the offensive line stats. Uh, Lee Smith, he fit his role. He was blocking tight end, and that's exactly what he came here to do. Nate Allen barely played at all. We actually released him to save uh, money and then re-signed him. So they re kind of restructured his contract, it seemed like. Uh, signed him to a new deal to where we're not paying him so much money since he didn't play. Jamarcus Webb, I thought, also played well at... Uh, at guard, um, Trent Richardson didn't do anything at all. He didn't even make the team. And Michael Crabtree, probably one of the best signing, free agent signings. He actually got a four-year extension uh, for his uh, play on the field and led the team in receptions. Um, so that you know that definitely proved me wrong because I did not expect that. Draft class. Let's talk about the draft class. Oh, I'm bad, bad. Alden Smith got suspended midway through the season. Didn't too much doing. Didn't do too much before that. But I, I hope that the Raiders somehow keep him as a Raider. Uh, I'd love to see what he can do. He's still young, man. Him and Mac are almost the same age. Them on the same team is deadly. And then David Anderson. My God, he came in and he just played his heart out. He had four picks on the year, one pick six. He had plenty of pass deflections. He made great plays throughout the whole year, and his name was being yelled by me every time I had a chance almost. This kid really showed out, took over the number one cornerback spot, and uh, made his name known. Draft class. Let's talk about the draft class. Amari Cooper was our first-round pick. I'm going to go in order by name. Mario Edwards Jr., defensive end, Florida. Clive Walford, tight end, John Feliciano, guard, Ben Heaney, Neron Bull, both linebackers, Max Vales, linebacker, Anthony Morris, Andre DeBolse, and Dexter McDonald. A couple players aren't on the Raiders anymore, uh, but some notable ones that I, I really I really loved. Ben Heaney uh, was one of my favorite pickups along with Clive Walford and Amari Cooper, of course. Amari Cooper had 1,000 yards receiving, um, was limited throughout the year with a bad foot, though, so we didn't get a full Amari Cooper, but I'm very excited. Uh, where this kid is headed. Didn't win Offensive Rookie of the Year. You got to give the credit to Gurley uh, for what he did with the Rams. Mario Edwards Jr. I thought played very well with the time he was in. He did get hurt towards the end of the year. Had a neck injury. They're saying that he should be okay. Clive Walford, I love this kid. They were right when we drafted him. He's an all-around tight end. He can do it all. Block, catch, run, everything. Everything, and we saw that with Carr. Ben Heaney I had two and a half sacks. He had a good amount of tackles. He made plays. He was all over the field. I really like this kid, and I hope what we keep him as a linebacker just to have him develop. Along with Neron Ball. Uh, Lamont Ball, I thought he played well when he came in there, but unfortunately he got hurt. Along with some other players that got hurt, J uh, Justin Tuck, Menelik Watson. Uh, Menelik Watson, oh, was, I was really excited to see what he could do with the offensive line. Got hurt at the beginning of the year and was out the rest of it. Tuck retired, as we know, and Charles Woodson also retired. We had six players make the Pro Bowl. Marcel Reese, unfortunately, who he got suspended. Uh, Khalil Mack, Amari Cooper, Derek Carr, and Latavius Murray. Of course, Charles Woodson. So, with all that being said, the stats, the players, we had some studs on this team. And some studs that, one stud that wasn't in the mix at all, no one expected, was young receiver Seth Roberts. He made a hell of a play, his game-winning catches, and game-winning touchdowns throughout the year. I already talked about David Amerson, Amari Cooper, and Crabtree. Both, all of them surprised me and played outstanding. Carr had a great sophomore year. He has now 53 t touchdowns in his first two seasons, right behind, second most uh, behind Dan Marino. Malcolm Smith, again, I thought he had a great year, led the team in tackles. And then Khalil Mack had 15 sacks, almost had the sack title, got beat out by J.J. Watt, and had a tremendous year. I'm very excited for what this Raider team is looking like. We finished seven and nine. We're getting some love. Unfortunately, we had the Donkeys won the Super Bowl, but by their free agents uh, that they have this season, it doesn't seem like they're going to be the same team. Things can go very south and very north for us if we play our cards right. We have the most money in the league. We have a few players to resign. Nothing major. There's some good players out there. Um, 
and those are gonna I'm gonna drop other videos throughout the the rest of this off season before free agency starts and just talk about who we should target, what positions we need to upgrade, draft combine, scouting reports, anything and everything about the Raiders to get us to the off season or get us to the regular season and get this thing underway. I can't wait until football is back, but I am still loving our position right now as Raider fans, as Raiders, and I hope the beef stops eventually. We're staying in Oakland for another year. Um, LA is still an option. Everything is still an option. Las Vegas is still an option. Everything. So that being said, guys, um, it's Raiders all day, silver and black, no matter what, baby. Just win. Commitment to excellence. Pride and poise. You know the good stuff. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be making videos. If you like this, comment, like, subscribe. That's my state of the Oakland Raiders. I thought we're on the uprise. Obviously, I give our season a B. I give our free agent class a C plus. Our draft class a B minus. And I think we're only going to improve and get better. My next video will probably just be the about the upcoming free agents on who we have at free agency, what players to look out for, how much money we exactly have, what our plan will probably be. I think Reggie has a good idea what we're going to do. But that will be for another video. Excuse me. Shit. I'm yawning. If you made it this far, leave a like because I yawned. Or leave a comment saying that you watched it this long and you saw me yawn like an idiot. I'm Mr. Rady Kid, guys. Leave a comment, subscribe, share the video, share it out to the nation. I'm back. We're going to talk some Raider football. Let me know down in the comments below what you all think about this offseason. Or this last past season, I'm sorry. And what do you expect for this offseason? Alright, if you made it this far, do that right now. And I'll be making another video very soon. Catch me later. Raider Nation all day, baby. Mr. Raider Kid. Comment, like, subscribe, bitch.